birds in this episode should be feared by both animals and people. They prey on wolves, foxes, and kangaroos, can lift a monkey or a sloth into the air, fight with a snake, and simply surprise everyone with their colossal size. <laughs> They're worth watching. In this episode, I'll show you the biggest and most powerful eagles in the world and tell you what they can do. Let's go. Not every eagle can be called a golden eagle, but the main character of this episode has just such a name. This is the largest eagle in the world. The length of its body can reach almost 3.2 feet, its wingspan reaches almost 8.2 feet, and the bird weighs more than 11 pounds. This is a lot for a flying bird. The golden eagle is a bird of prey, like other eagles, and given its phenomenal size, it simply cannot be a weakling. The golden eagle poses a great danger to many animals in its habitat. It lives, by the way, in many countries of the Northern Hemisphere. You can encounter it in almost all of Eurasia. The golden eagle in general does not care what to prey on. It can defeat both small game and large animals. However, the golden eagle prefers eating small creatures that can be easily dealt with. As a rule, these are hares, which, despite all their speed and leaping ability, can hardly escape from the winged threat. If a golden eagle doesn't feel like eating a hare, it can try its strength on someone more interesting. A fox, for example. The golden eagle can even lift small foxes into the air and drag them to its nest or other hiding place. Even wolves are not an obstacle for it. Although occasionally, but still, a golden eagle can attack a wolf and even try to kill it in order to taste wolf meat. The success of the golden eagle hunting directly depends on the age of the bird. If young golden eagles often make mistakes and miss prey, then mature and battle-hardened birds have such skills that they grab the prey even before it tries to escape. Fortunately, golden eagles do not hunt us, although they sometimes attack people for various reasons. But this is the exception rather than the rule. Many people are sure that since the golden eagle is the largest eagle, it's also the most powerful of them all. But many people do not agree with them and believe that the most powerful in this respect is the Southern American Harpy Eagle. As for me, this bird looks very nice. Its eyes are a lovely sight. But it's these kind, at first glance, eyes, as well as very sharp talons that the prey of the Harpy Eagle sees at the last moment before death. Because this eagle is ruthless. In terms of wingspan and length, it's slightly smaller than the golden eagle, but heavier than it. Females of this species weigh up to 20 pounds. Harpy eagles are also endowed with fantastic strength. Unlike golden eagles, which do not often lift large prey into the air, these South American predators do just that. They drag large animals to their nests. Most of all, they like to prey on monkeys and sloths. The harpy eagle flies among South American forests and jungles, tracks down its targets with its keen eye, and mercilessly snatches it on the fly. While agile monkeys can still escape, slow sloths don't stand a chance against the harpy eagle. This strong eagle lifts the prey into the sky and flies to the nest or other elevated area where the harpy eagle can eat the prey itself or share it with its chicks. The harpy eagle's talons reach four to five inches in length. The eagle has a powerful beak and insane strength in its feet, so if the prey is caught, it's unlikely to escape. Martial Eagle This is a case where the name fully corresponds to the reality. The Martial Eagle, which lives in Sub-Saharan Africa, is the ultimate fighter. It fights literally everyone and can defeat everyone. The large-winged champion likes to sit on high ground and watch its territory. If a stranger wanders into it, or someone the martial eagle wants to eat, the bird goes into attack mode. The martial eagle has eyes almost as large as those of a human, but they have better depth perception and visual acuity. While the prey may not be aware of the eagle's presence nearby, the bird will already be flying towards it. The prey could be anyone, as I said. For example, on Monday, the martial eagle may attack a vulture or a stork. On Tuesday, it may eat a guinea fowl for lunch. By the middle of the week, the martial eagle might get into the swing of things and start attacking warthogs and gazelles. And by the weekend, it may start preying on quite dangerous predators like servals, snakes, or monitor lizards. 
Surprisingly, it can defeat all of them without much difficulty, and that says a lot about its power. Its only enemy is, unfortunately, us. Many African farmers are very afraid for their animals and destroy martial eagles as soon as they approach their settlements. As a result, these species is now endangered, and soon these winged fighters may be gone. Crowned Eagle Things are much better for this king of birds. The crowned eagle, which head is adorned with a crown-like crest, also lives in Africa. And many argue about which is stronger and more dangerous, the martial eagle or the crowned eagle. In some ways, the crowned eagle is more dangerous. Firstly, it's the largest eagle in Africa, which can weigh up to 15 pounds. Secondly, unlike the martial eagle, the population of crowned eagles is not bad. There are more of them, which means that, at least in aggregate, they pose a greater threat than martial eagles. And thirdly, they hunt as well as martial eagles. The crowned eagle neutralizes small animals without the slightest difficulty. If the prey is large, the birds of prey usually work in pairs. While one crowned raptor scares and distracts the prey, the second one attacks it, neutralizes it, and drags it to the nest. If the prey is too large, the feast has taken place right on the spot. And crowned eagles leave nothing behind. They eat even the bones of their prey. And the prey can be literally anyone up to a certain size. Even antelopes are not protected from the attacks of these birds. They also like to teach monkeys a lesson. These arrogant primates are not afraid of crowned eagles sitting on trees and even tease them by grabbing their feet. But as soon as the eagle descends or flies, the monkeys immediately panic and they only think about their rescue. Australia is home to many dangerous and large birds. There are huge crocodiles, venomous snakes, spiders, and yes, there are large and dangerous eagles here too. I'm talking about wedge-tailed eagles, some of the biggest on the planet. Females are larger than males, weighing 9 to 11 pounds, and their wingspan exceeds 6.5 feet. This isn't bad for a bird of prey. Wedge-tailed eagles are great daytime hunters that attack mainly rabbits and hares. As a matter of fact, so do many other eagles, but this eagle can encroach on large animals, and since this is Australia, it's a sin for a wedge-tailed eagle not to try to attack a kangaroo. Jumping marsupials do not like these powerful birds and try not to mess with them, but no kangaroo can escape from this eagle. Wedge-tailed eagles manage to fell small marsupials and peck them to death on the spot. And when there's no fresh food at all, the wedge-tailed eagle is not capricious and is satisfied with little. If necessary, it can snack on carrion. Host's Eagle Many of you are probably hearing about this eagle for the first time. And it's not surprising because it's long gone. It just seemed to me somehow wrong not to include it in this episode because it was so big and powerful. Actually, it's the biggest and most powerful eagle of all time. Host's eagles, which live in New Zealand, weigh up to 31 pounds, and their wingspan exceeds 8.2 feet. For comparison, the golden eagle is about three times smaller than Haas eagle. Haas eagle filled a special niche in the New Zealand fauna, which was dominated by birds, and in which, except for one large species of gecko, there were no terrestrial predators. Scientists believe that Haas eagle was the top predator of its era and in its range. It usually preyed on birds, including New Zealand's famous moa birds, which are also extinct now. The powerful ancient giant would sink its huge talons into the head and neck of its prey and kill it instantly. I suggest we finish with eagles and take one last look at a couple of other large and dangerous birds that are better not to mess with. Bald Eagle You're about to ask me, you said we're done with eagles, so what's this bird doing here? The fact is that it's a sea eagle. Yes, they're similar to common eagles in terms of appearance. They have similar names. They belong to the same Atripidae or hawk family, but they're still different genera and animals. First, they have differences in appearance. For example, the feet of eagles have thick plumage up to the toes, whereas in sea eagles, the lower part of the feet is bare. The sea eagle's beak is more powerful and massive than that of an eagle. A sea eagle can also be distinguished by its wedge-shaped tail. 
Secondly, eagles prey on land animals, while sea eagles specialize mainly in marine life. The bald eagle excels at this. The large raptor grabs fish at the surface of the water, leaving it no chance. The bald eagle can also take prey from other birds or eat some carrion. And if it's in the mood, it can get cocky and attack a dangerous large predator. Look how the bear got it here. The bald eagle is very powerful, large, and graceful. No wonder it's been the national bird of the United States almost since the states gained independence in the late 18th century. In America, the bald eagle is revered, respected, and used in promotional campaigns. For example, Donald Trump did so in 2015 on the set of Time magazine and before the presidential election. In addition to eagles, there are many other feathered raptors in the sky. Falcons, for example. And the gyre falcon is the largest of them all. It weighs about four and a half pounds, and its wingspan exceeds three feet. Yes, it's not much for an eagle, but by the standards of falcons, it's a very impressive size. Gyre falcons are northerners. They can be seen in the Arctic, Greenland, or Alaska. There, they complicate the life of animals, which are already difficult to cope with cold weather and lack of abundant food. When hunting, the gyre falcon relies not on speed, like the peregrine falcon, another falcon and the fastest bird on the planet, but on brute strength. Gyre falcons attack birds in open terrain by swooping down from above and grabbing them with their powerful feet. After that, the gyre falcon hits the neck and the back of the head of the prey with its beak, neutralizing it. If there are no birds nearby, but the raptor wants to eat, the largest falcon in the world can prey on rodents, ground squirrels, or hares. Cassowary Usually, birds and many other creatures need some introduction so that people can understand how dangerous and strong they are. But it seems to me that in the case of the cassowary, this would be unnecessary. From its mere appearance, this enormous height and weight of 133 pounds, it's clear that the cassowary will not tolerate bad treatment or disrespect. In addition, these birds can reach speeds of up to 31 miles per hour, which means that no one will be able to hunt them and then run away. But what will happen if the bird catches up with its offender? Would it peck it to death? It's worse and more dangerous. In fights, they use their middle claw, which can reach five inches in length. Several hundred attacks by these birds are reported each year. As you can imagine, sometimes they can end fatally. Despite the fact that cassowaries lead a very secretive lifestyle and prefer to live higher up, if such a bird is disturbed, offenders will regret the day they were born. Here's an interesting fact. Even during World War II, American and Australian soldiers received special training to avoid contact with cassowaries. Now without reason, in 2004, the cassowary made it into the Guinness Book of World Records as the most dangerous bird in the world, even beating the fierce eagle. Considering that, the following fact will sound rather strange, but it's true. It turns out that cassowaries may have been the very first feathered creatures to be attempted to be domesticated. This was as far back as 18,000 years ago, 10,000 years before the chicken was domesticated. Scientists found out that at the same time that mammoths were roaming around in Europe, the Australian aborigines were collecting cassowary eggs and then breeding them in captivity. No wonder, because this animal, like a duck, takes the first object it sees as its mother. Philippine Eagle The next bird in question is intelligent and strong. Among other things, it's distinguished by its gigantic size. Its wingspan exceeds 6.5 feet, and its length reaches 3.2 feet. This is a full-fledged heavyweight among the feathered creatures, while retaining good agility and dexterity. This, by the way, became real thanks to the large tail that acts as a rudder. When the Philippine eagle is alarmed by someone or something, it raises its crest and lets the enemy know that it's fully armed. By the way, did you know that it wasn't called the Philippine eagle at all before? Until 1978, the bird was called rather simply and irreverently the monkey-eating eagle. I think there's no need to comment on that. Other interesting facts about the monkey-eating eagle or the Philippine eagle include the fact that it can live for up to 60 years. Females are usually larger than males, and the feathered creature is not particularly fond of monkeys. 
Due to their ignorance, people used to mistakenly believe that the eagle hunts only primates, but it does not often and only in pairs with a mate. In life, the bird prefers eating rodents, bats, and snakes. Although the Philippine eagle could eat anything because its eyesight is, to put it mildly, awesome, compared to humans, it can see eight times better. Great Horned Owl Some might think that of the birds that can fly, the eagle is the strongest and most dangerous, but that's not true. At least not as long as the Great Horned Owl flies in our world. With their amazing eyesight, high flight speed, and powerful hook-shaped beak, they can disarm their prey in seconds, just like in this video. Do you see something glimmering over there in the distance? Those would be the hungry eyes of the Great Horned Owl, able to crush anyone in its path. Even eagles won't be a problem for it. There's how easily and effortlessly it kicked one of them out of their own nest. According to the author of the video, the man whose camera was high up in a tree, he got worried about the eagle's condition, checked on it the next morning, and the bird was fine. However, this does not diminish the strength and capabilities of the great horned owl. This ferocious raptor is very large, reaching 25 inches in length, having a wingspan of 5 feet, and weighing about 4.5 pounds. It may seem that its size is quite ordinary, as if it doesn't have enough strength to deal with a more or less big creature, but this is only the first, and at the same time, mistaken impression. This feathered raptor is capable of carrying a prey that is three times its weight. In addition to all this, the owl is insanely clever and shrewd. Not for nothing, it's considered a symbol of wisdom, but this statement's not true. For example, crows or parrots are more intelligent. Nevertheless, owls have other advantages. Thanks to a number of hunting devices and an insatiable appetite, these wily, nocturnal raptors sometimes take the liberty of attacking very large animals and birds, which almost always pays off. They attack from the darkness, grabbing their prey in the blink of an eye with their strong and tenacious claws. Their talons are so powerful that they are able to leave several holes in the skull of prey if the hit's successful. And the most unusual thing is that all this happens completely silently. When they flap their wings, they make almost no sound, so you'll never hear them if they fly overhead or are behind you. Australian Magpie All hands on deck! Next, we have a bird that has unwittingly become one of the most popular on the internet due to videos like this one. You might think it's not doing it on purpose, that it's staged or it's fake, but it's not. Common in Australia, the Australian magpie resembles the common European magpie very much. Its size is modest, no more than 16 inches in length. But sometimes you don't need to be a giant, have a long beak, or incredible claws to dare to attack a creature much larger than you. For some reason, unknown to scientists, Australian magpies simply love to attack humans. Not people who are strolling peacefully, but mostly cyclists. The locals whose area is inhabited by these monsters have made it a habit to wear several kinds of protection at once – a helmet, goggles, and extra protection around the neck. What do you think provokes the birds to do these things? Write in the comments. And while you're writing it, I'll tell you an interesting fact. In some languages, the bird is called the whistling magpie. Why? Because they can memorize and reproduce almost four dozen voices of other birds. And funny enough, that's not all. They can even bark like a dog or roar like a horse. In general, the main thing after encountering them is not to go crazy. This next bird will be recognized by all Magic fans because it often appeared in the Harry Potter movie series. I'm talking about the White Owl, of course. In addition to being one of the most recognizable, it is the most northern bird of prey on the planet. These owls are so fierce that even extremely low temperature doesn't scare them. On the contrary, people are afraid not only of the temperature, but also of a clash with the snowy owl. It's its second name. It's quite problematic to detect it because of the merging of colors. From the outside, it looks like an ordinary small snow hill. But as soon as someone gets too close to it, it'll come to life and rush to attack in order to chase the intruder away from its possessions. If the threat's a person, these owls can aim at their face and head. In general, it's not important for white owls where to strike. 
After all, they have razor sharp talons that can cause quite a lot of damage. Although you can't tell by their appearance that these birds are so aggressive, right? I mean, look how beautiful they are. They're fluffy, snow white, with bright yellow eyes. You just want to kiss them. Man, you can't do it, because in response to our kiss, the white owl might bite us. Shoebill The shoebill is a rather unusual but also very interesting representative of fauna, which is also called the whale-headed stork. Despite such an original appearance, the bird was officially discovered only in 1849, which is quite strange, isn't it? It was not hard to find a bird which was over 3.2 feet tall, weighing up to 15 pounds and having a wingspan of 8 feet. Many people thought they were imagining things and didn't want to seem crazy in front of others. The shoebill really does look like it escaped from a book about prehistoric animals. As for the bird's appearance, its main distinguishing feature is its beak. It makes the shoebill a master fisherman. It's so large that it puts it on its chest during rest. The shoebill's hunt reminds me personally that of a crocodile, but in general it can be attributed to anyone. The feathered creature stands frozen and waits for its prey, and then it spreads its wings and makes a quick lunge. It's funny, but in one of the parks, people often confused a real shoebill with a dummy. Because of this, the staff even added the caption, it moves after all. European Herring Gull This bird is often confused with the cormorant, which is quite strange. Cormorants are much bigger, black with a long neck, and live on the shores of the Barents Sea. And these are European herring gulls. They're also considered sea dwellers, but they usually nest on coastal cliffs, creating huge bird bazaars. The birds are omnivores and, moreover, have the nerve to take food from other birds. It's not that they're aggressive, rather they're constantly on guard and have incredible abilities. However, this behavior does not put an end to their moral qualities. The European herring gull honors mating traditions like no other. Having decided to show the steadfastness of feelings and a serious attitude, a potential spouse brings various sweets to its beloved. If the mate appreciates it, the couple will be made for life. Although occasional cases of bigamy are recorded, as a rule this is the exception as such intelligent creatures have a very high quality of fidelity. <laughs> That's all, guys. Which birds do you personally consider to be the most dangerous in the world? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.